What's up guys? Um, just doing a intercooler upgrade for the MR2. Here is your stock intercooler. Um, pretty basic. There's the strut tower bracing for the rear. There's the stock fan which I'm keeping. Stock piping. Uh, one of the engine mounts. The old brackets for the intercooler which I'll be reusing. And the new intercooler and piping. So I've already got it all out. Uh, it was a bit of a struggle. It's really tight in there. Um, but yeah, you can see right through right now. I've actually got the updated uh, side skirts for it, so it's one big open hole. Uh, they actually look pretty good. But uh, so basically, what I got to do now is just uh, put those brackets back in and. Uh, Relocate the new intercooler here. Um, no, that's not rust. Look. Pine needles. So I was going to give this a good cleaning first before I put anything back in. Um, yeah, like I said, a bit of a struggle getting it out, but it'll be all be worth it in the end here. Um, it's a lot better intercooler than the stock one. It's way thicker. Um, it's all TIG welded. Um, it's all aluminum. And the inlet and outlet are on opposite sides, so it makes a lot more sense than this setup here, which is actually... Uh, it's all aluminum as well, but I mean, some of this is laser welded here, like this one. This is hand tigged. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> regardless, we're doing that. Keep you posted. I got my um, short shift kit installed. I made a housing for it too. I figured it looks all right for now. That's what I've got. So it's it's kind of notched out for each gear. And if you look in there, you can't see too much. But I've got the short shift kit there with the uh, Razo shifter. And um, other than that, no new interior mods. Um, just trying to think here. What else have I been doing? Working hard. Putting in windows. Mel's got her car back now. Can't see nothing, but I'm going to get back at her and do a little bit of a clean up and see where I can get. I've got the new intercooler mocked up in there. Um, I had to take off the stock air directional bezel or whatever the heck you want to call it um, because the old intercooler sits here. The new intercooler sits right there so this had to go um basically just sat on the intercooler like that before and kind of just helped it force air in there which is efficient but not as efficient as having the intercooler directly after the inlet here if you can see like it's just going to be hitting right away on that intercooler um so you take that out of there. I thought I was going to have to use the old brackets. Um, you don't have to use those. Literally, we'll just bolt up directly to where 
um, that bezel was before. So it's in there and just going to bolt her down and then start fitting my intercooler piping and then bolt the fan on and that should be it. So I'm going to do a quick mock up of that. I got everything kind of just uh, mocked up in place right now. I don't know why it's blurred out. There we go. Um, just kind of have everything mocked up right now. Um, you know, no, no tighten clamps or anything like that. Had a bit of trouble with this one fitting here. It was a real bugger to get on. Um, other than that, it's going pretty good. I may call it a day for now because got a lot of things to do, but um, that's where we are at. So the intercooler's bolted down. I've got my first pipe down there, uh, straight adapter at the bottom, and then 90 here for the uh, the outlet of the turbo, I could, guess you'd call it. And then the, uh, it's like a 45 degree, and it kind of just snakes in here, and this is the hard one to get on. I mean, I had to just use all, all of what I had to get in there, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so what we're left with, I got to, uh, before we go any further, I got to put that bracket back on. That's uh, one of the motor mount slash, um, air conditioning bracket mount that she goes in there. So before I get anything else on, I'm going to tittle that back up and. I'm going to go get something to eat because I'm starving. Just had a sandwich. Still kind of hungry. But uh, not looking to get fat, so... Ah, there's lots of food. Oh, somebody said shake and bake. Um... Yeah. Just chilling. Oh. I thought he said he wasn't going to get fat. Well, I'm not. This is a coffee. Okay. Because when you're doing shit on the car, you need coffee. If you don't have coffee, you're going to break bolts. So never mind the WD-40, just drink your coffee. Oh, fuck, that's hot. All right, so it's uh, a couple days later. Um, I had to go back to work, of course, and uh, as usual, interrupted the build, but that's okay. Uh, it also helps with the money, so... I got uh, the top pipe in, um, and uh, she's in there now, so I uh, resprayed my X brace because she was looking a little dag. So, well, that pretty much sums it up. So, um, hardest things is, of course, getting the stock intercooler out because it's really tight in there. I ended up damaging the old one a little bit, uh, just on the fins. Spent a few fins on the face of it, but not to worry because it's never going back in. And, uh... That's pretty much it. I'm just going to do a big clean up. i got some degreaser. I'm just going to go around and clean it up. And ended up uh, using the old clamps, but I did get some new ones. So I just got to put them on there and uh, 
I did use a couple of the ones that came with the kit, but even this one is, that one's really tight. It's actually really good. This seems a little bit big at the beginning, but it turned out. So. But uh, that's going to be it for now. I haven't got much else going on. Um, Parts-wise, anyways, this can kind of go back together and just be finished up. So that's um, Boost Masters piping, and then the intercooler, of course, is um, from somebody else. I can't even remember. I'll have to look that up, but... Uh, Emusa, I guess is probably the brand. We could just call it that. Emusa Intercooler MR2 install. Wasn't a very thorough video, I know that, but uh, kind of just gives you an idea of how everything fits together. Because I had no idea. There's, I didn't, couldn't find any videos, so. I had mentioned I actually had to use the, um, there's like a stock washer slash grommet. I had to bump the intercooler out a bit because these, uh, if they would have just made this one a little bit longer, it probably would have worked. But it's as it is, it's like right on the edge of the clamps here. So either way, there she sits.